children i am gargi gupta your computer teacher this class is for standard 5 and our topic for today is memory and storage device which is the second chapter of your computer book in last chapter we learned about the basic terms of my computer today in this chapter we will discuss about the computer memory before starting with the chapter let's see what is memory we all know for human being memory is our ability to store and subsequently recall information and past experiences in the human brain in computer a memory is just like a human brain it is used to store data and instructions so we can say the definition of computer computer memory is the storage space in the computer where data to be processed and instructions required for processing are stored computer has a large memory in which it can store very large volume of information it is used to retrieve and recall any bit of information from its vast storehouse accurately and quickly as and when required let us discuss type of computer memory there are two types of computer memory they are primary memory and secondary memory let's start with primary memory it is also known as main memory or internal memory primary memory holds only those data and instructions on which the computer is currently working primary memory again can be divided into two subcategories that is ram random access memory and rom that is read only memory let's discuss ram that is random access memory the ram is a memory in which information can be written onto as well as read from it is a temporary memory and when the power is switched off or discontinued connected the information stored in ram is lost or erased for this reason it is also known as volatile memory here is a picture of ram the computer uses this memory during current storage and processing of data and also the storage of the software currently needed to do a task next rom that is read only memory rom allows only reading of information from it and no information can be written onto by user rom is a permanent memory and its contents are not lost or erased when the power supply is discontinued connected due to this reason it is also called as non volatile memory rom usually stores permanent programs and related instructions which the computer needs to carry out for executing user programs 
Here is a picture of ROM. Next, let's discuss difference between RAM and ROM. It is very important. Now, the first point is RAM stands for Random Access Memory, whereas ROM stands for Read Only Memory. Second point RAM is volatile in nature. Its contents are erased when power is turned off, whereas ROM is non volatile in nature. It contents are not erased when power is turned off. Third point is the computer can read as well as write using this memory that is RAM. Whereas the computer can only read this memory and cannot write using this memory that is ROM. Now the first, fourth point is RAM is used to store the temporary information whereas ROM is used to store part of operating system by the factory or the manufacturer. Let's discuss data representation. The basic unit of data representation is bit. Bit is the short of binary digit. Bit has a single binary value either 0 or 1. A computer being a machine does not understand language spoken and written by humans. It only responds the two signals. The presence of small electric current that is represented by 1 and the absence of small electric current that is represented by 0. Therefore, all the data given by the user is transferred by the computer into these two signals that is 0 and 1 which are the two digits of the binary system. Now stored program concept. The idea of stored program concept was first introduced in the late 1940s by John von Neumann who proposed that a program be electronically stored in binary number format in a memory device so that instructions could be modified by the computer as determined by intermediate computational results. Let's discuss the different units for measuring the data storage. The smallest unit of measurement used to quantify computer data is bit. Now, 4 bits is equal to 1 nibble. 8 bits is equal to 1 byte. 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte. 1024 kilobyte is equal to 1 megabyte. 1024 megabyte is equal to 1 gigabyte. 1024 gigabyte is equal to 1 terabyte and 1024 terabyte is equal to 1 petabyte. So these all are the units of measuring the memory. So children, today we learned about the computer memory, the type of computer memory, 
primary memory ram rom difference between ram and rom data representation stored program concept and different units to measure computer data that's all for today keep learning everyone thank you for watching this video stay home stay safe